Hello everyone, Meloa the Hedgehog here, and I am here with another Skylanders video. Today, I am going to be talking about Skylanders Imaginators, and my complaints for the, um, Swashbuckler class. As you know, Swashbucklers don't really have any legs, according to Imaginators, but what about the senseis of the Imaginator class? I mean... Two of the Swashbuckler senseis have legs, and that part doesn't really bode well with me. I mean, if they're masters of the Swashbuckler class, why the heck do they not have any Nagas like Swashbucklers are supposed to? To emphasize my point, I will show you the two senseis of the Swashbuckler class that do not have this kind the thing. Aurora and... Uh... Chain Reaction. The two senseis of the Swashbucker crew class who do in fact have legs. As we see here, this is an image I found of a Swashbuckler in the game Imaginators. And the little symbol with the two double blades means that this Skylander is in fact a part of the Swashbuckler class. Now, a lot of you remember Bad Juju from Trap Team, and Juju, of course, does have a Naga, just like the Imaginators. And, well, I was meaning to show you pictures of Chain Reaction and Aurora, but I can't seem to find pictures of them. So, hang on, I'll just go off to this, um, Skylanders main website, and I will be right back right about... Now, the magic of editing, people. Now, here's a picture of Aurora. From what I read from her description, she is the niece of Eon. Which I find pretty cool. Anyway, look at her bottom half. She does indeed have legs. Compare her to a... <laughs> this Serenity from... The Imaginator's game that this kid made. By the way, whoever made this, you're awesome. Because this is pretty cool. Anyway, it doesn't make any sense because Aurora is a master of the Swashbuckler class. See? Right there, you can see there's a little tiny symbol of double sword. Meaning, Aurora is in the Swashbuckler class. Now, let's go look at the tech elements and see if we can find Chain Reaction. Uh, I hate it when my computer does this. Okay. Um, where's Chain Reaction? Okay, hang on. It's around here somewhere. Chain reaction, chain reaction, chain reaction, chain reaction, chain reaction. Nothing with chain reaction here? There is absolutely no chain reaction anywhere. Okay, let me look on Google instead. This might take a while for me to get to the top. Hang on. I just hate when it happens. Hang on, I'll be right back. Here you are. And here is Chain Reaction. Now as I go to this photo, you can see he has the Splash Buckler symbol right next to him too. So, Chain Reaction is indeed a sensei of the Splash Buckler class. But he has legs. That I don't get. And here is a picture of Bad Juju. Which you can already tell from gameplay if you've played her. Or seen a video of her from YouTube. She is a swashbuckler class. So. Why is it that the swashbucklers have nagas when you create the imaginators, but two out of three of the senseis have legs? Why is it not optional that your sense 
that your swashbucklers can have legs too. And that part is kind of screwy. But, of course, no one would really care. And now it's time for the final class for me to complain about by the incompetence of it. The last class I'll talk about is, of course, the ninja class. As you can see here, or heard from the description when you get a ninja soul gem, the ninja class is known to be short statured and really quick. Here is a picture of an imaginator in the game. And as you can see, it's just basically a head with arms and legs. But however, we look at the senseis and it makes me very confused. Here is Starcast, the mysterious new ninja sensei of the ninja class. He's not really short in stature. I don't get why the heck he's... I, I don't get why he the ninja class is not... Well, has the option to have an actual body. Now, ugh. I was going to talk about Doom Bloom, but it looks like I'm going to have to find her picture. Ugh. <sighs> It's going to be too far. I've, I've seen it. Oh, where is it? I saw it. Where is it? Okay, I feel really stupid now. Okay, Ninja Nin... She was behind a picture that's called Ninja Confirmed. Doom Bloom, Doom Bloom, Doom Bloom. Duh, where's Doom Bloom? I saw her a minute ago. Well, anyway, yeah, I'll I'll show you this instead. Anyone remember Taekwong Crow from the? Uh, gosh darn it! I am so sorry. I keep pausing. I keep losing my train of thought. Anyway, this is a picture of Taekwong Crow, and of course he has a body. A lot of you probably remember Taekwong Crow from. Skylanders track team and he has ditched his katana for ninja stars and that's pretty cool but again he has a torso he's not a head with arms and legs attached to it now let me see if I can figure out where the heck a doom bloom picture is Ugh. Doom Bloom's gotta be around here somewhere. Oh, 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 here we are. Here is Doom Bloom. Here you are, you little stinker. Yeah, I have a thing for female characters in the Skylanders universe, but I would have to say out of all the Skylanders, she's probably one of the most coolest females I've seen. She's basically a plant ninja. Of course, we have Stealth Elf, who's a life element, and she's also a ninja, but... No, seriously, Doom Bloom is a literal plant. Anyway, Doom Bloom, just like the other two, have torsos. While the Imaginators do not. Makes me terribly confused why the ninja class doesn't have any torsos while the senseis do. Very confusing. Anyway, that concludes my... <coughs> Sorry, I was having popcorn. My discussion of Skylanders Imaginators. So, tell me down in the comments, what do you think of this? And what would you change for Imaginators? Anyway, Mellow of That Jog here, and I am out.